What's going on crew? My name is Matt and today I want to show you how to test or check or measure your blood sugar with your fingers. So we're using a glucometer today. Now obviously there are many options out there in the world today on how you can measure your blood sugars, but today we're going to use a glucometer. I'm going to show you what that looks like, how to test, and even how to change your lancet. So if we open this up, obviously this is one of the many options and we are keeping it real here. Okay, check this out. How do you know if someone has diabetes? They've got test strips that fall out of everything, right? <laughs> uh, in this pack though, I have the glucometer itself, and if we turn it on, let's see if it'll turn on, there we go. Screen turns on, I have right here, this is gonna stab my finger, which is, that sounds aggressive, but essentially it's what it is. It's a very small little needle, it's gonna poke and uh, draw some blood, and right here we have our test strips, all right? So, what I'm gonna do, first, first things first, set this down, we're gonna wash our hands, okay? First step, make sure your fingers are clean. Reason being, if you have sugar or anything else that can alter the blood sugar measurement, you might get a false high. So your blood sugars might be at 93, but the meter shows 250. Well, which one do you trust? Well, you're gonna look at your meter and probably trust that. Problem is though, if it's 250 and you take medication to bring that down, but you're actually at 93, you might have a hypoglycemia event or a low blood sugar. So we wash our hands, wash our fingers to make sure they're nice and clean. I'm gonna do that real quick. And we're gonna make sure that they're nice and dry because we also don't want water on our fingertips. Water can dilute the blood and uh, throw off readings as well. So one tip I wanna give you, use warm water if you can. Reason being, warm water can help the circulation of your blood. Cold water can make it hard to get the blood out of your fingertips. So we make sure your hands are dry, we toss the towel, and we get ready for the blood sugar measurement. Now what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna take out this little lancet of mine, and I'm gonna let it shine. <laughs> what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna switch it out. Now this is something you should be doing at every single blood sugar test, but a lot of us don't do that, just admittedly. I know I haven't done this in a little bit. So what I'm doing, I'm gonna go ahead and replace it. We put it back in. Depending on your device, it's going to look differently, but that's all it takes right there. I'm gonna cover up the old needle with the cap. There we go. As you can see, now it is covered. There's no needle poking out that's gonna stab someone in the trash can. I'm gonna cover that back up. And one tip I wanna give you guys here is when you pick your fingers, don't always pick the same finger, same spot. You're gonna develop calluses and it's gonna be more and more difficult over time uh, as you reuse the same area. So spread it out, different fingers. Some devices even allow the use of your palm or your forearm. But I'm gonna to stick to my fingers here today. The tip I wanted to give you though, is keep them warm, right? Warm water, massage it if you need to get blood flow going. And lastly, don't use the tip of your finger, the ends. That's where the nerve endings are, it's gonna make it more painful. Use the side of your finger, not quite your nail, but the side of your fingers. That's gonna be the least amount of pain, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a test strip out. I'm going to put it in the meter, and when I do, it's gonna turn itself on. Let it go ahead and get ready. And now it's gonna say, apply blood. As you can see right there, apply blood. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and gear that up, go for the side of my finger. Boom. I'm gonna come over here for you guys. We're gonna squeeze some blood out, there it is. So that blood, that looks like it's enough. Quick note, if you have to squeeze very hard to get the blood out, I wouldn't use that. I would retest uh, and get new blood out of it because the more pressure you apply, the, the least, less likely it will be accurate. Whew, having a hard time talking right now. 109, so as you can tell right now, 109 is a great blood sugar. I'm feeling awesome about that. I just wrapped up a workout, so I expected my blood sugars to be closer in range. Blood flow is obviously better when you're exercising as well. So the warm water helped, but it was already primed and ready to go. So 109, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna document. So give me one second. And obviously I have a personal favorite. This is the Trending Health Journal. This is where I'm going to document my blood sugars. Now, obviously I'm biased, uh, I wrote this, but for those who are looking for templates, look, this is all you gotta track. I'll even show you the inside. So what we're looking at here is blood sugars before and after meals, before and after workouts. When you wake up, before you go to bed, the more often you test, the more data you can gather to get more results and see how blood sugars trend over the course of time. Okay, so if you wanna grab a copy of this, you can go to trendinghealthjournal.com. But that wraps up today's 
lesson on blood sugar management, on how to test your blood sugars. Make sure you are testing, cleaning your hands, make sure you have good circulation. And in addition to that, try to incorporate some new healthy habits, drink water, exercise, you know the drill. For more information on diabetes, how to measure, but also how to track, keep blood sugar stable, and uh, lower your A1Cs, be sure to hit that subscribe button right there. It's about to pop up. Do not forget to subscribe for more diabetes content. My name is Matt Vandevecht. I'm a type 1 diabetic, certified master fitness trainer, nutritionist, author, all that fun stuff. Uh, but more than anything else, I want to help you take control of your blood sugar. All right, so one last thing to grab a free resource, head down to the link in the description. Do not miss out. That will help you lead your best life with diabetes. And I guarantee you will find some new golden nuggets in there uh, that will help you improve your blood sugar management. So hit that link, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Keep up the fight.